Hey, dear magical friends, welcome, welcome and to your psychic tarot reading with me, Natalie, spelled N A T A L E E. In this video, we're going to open up the collective energy of your download from your pre meditation using remote viewing and the tarot. So make sure you are liking this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and toggle the notification bell so that you are assured to always get all of your messages. Tuning into your energies, I'm picking up what she showed me was when I was a child watching TV on the floor way too close to the TV. I remember one time getting so close that I could see that there was just this repeating image of these three bars, green, blue, and red or something. Like when you get like super, super, super close and that someone's just like really close to the screen. There's something about like really, really, really being like really close. So be careful if you need like glasses or something, because I'm just getting that someone or something, there's just like this, like, like microscopic, like, I don't know, like maybe one of your kids are sitting way too close to the TV and you're like telling them like, hey, scoop back or something. But she gave me that and I think that was it. I'm not going to lie, you guys. I kind of wanted to rely on psychometry, which is where you just let your body channel through shuffling and doing the tarot cards. But I was very disciplined. I said, no, I'm going to do I'm going to do the full premeditation. I'm just trying to crack ran into some issues with my outline. So it's just taking me a little bit longer. I can really appreciate the difficulty of writing for writing someone that that's difficult like a character writing for this character that they're like this iconic character but they're just it's inter i can appreciate the the thing anyway um so so yeah so but i i, I did it i did it right we did a full pre-meditation for you guys if you guys want to know the meditation that i use it's for sale up on the wholesomeoccultist.com website okay so i just shuffled and i have your deck right here but there's a card sitting out so i'm just going to we're start the reading has started. I haven't even cut into four and the reading has started. Nine of Swords. So you or someone in your environment is definitely kind of like really thinking a lot about something. Um, this person could be losing sleep. It's a very weak energy, so I don't anticipate that this is gonna last. This is like this is like really tweaking out. So it's probably not nearly like as bad as you feel it is or that you're thinking that it is. You know, you probably just need a break to get some fresh air or to, you know, think about something else. Whatever you put your attention on, wherever you put your energy on, that's what is getting really charged up and really active and really powerful. So we've, this is about being very, very careful with what you put your energy and your attention specifically onto. I got through it, by the way. I got I got through like the biggest outline blockage, but it's, it's like taking me in a whole... Did you know, did you know that for a comedy pilot that you got to write like three to four jokes a page? Oh my God. When I, when I saw it, I was like, like, I'm funny. I'm hilarious. But like, I, I, wow. Like that's, and then not only that, okay. One page is worth like one minute of screen time roughly, but not only that, I would want to have alts, alternate jokes, and that's just like, that's that's it's impressive. That's a very, that's something to reach for, for me personally. Anyway, you're not thinking about that. You're thinking about something actual real in your life. You're, you're thinking about your like relationship. You're thinking about like some kind of, you're thinking about some kind of, um, I don't know. We'll, we're, let's keep going. Let's see what you got going on. That's why I wanted to maybe just do psychometry so I can get back to my, my TK and my scripts. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's that's going to be any of the anecdotal help that you guys get for the next little while is going to be in those terms. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so someone around you, or maybe this is you yourself, very, like, you have your assets, you have your resources, you have your income stream, you have your revenue streams, you have your, um, your self-esteem, you take really great care of your health, you take care of your body, you keep everything in balance, or this other person does. This person is very balanced. They are, this might even be some kind of charity organizer or someone that's sort of philanthropic in some way, shape or form. But they got a, they got a great like balance in life, not just work life, but just they're like very whole, you know, they, they have a good whole wholeness to them as far as 
there's not really going to be anything in this person's life, their entire life and their entire being that's going to be like drastically, drastically out of balance. Let's keep going. Oh, that's a lot. I'll take it. We have the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. And then we also have the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. Good problems I have, right? That's the biggest thing that I'm trying to figure out. Did you know that there's... I, I, I figured it out recently. I was watching a video that there's actually like... Almost like... I don't know if it's like a formula or like a structure of writing a joke. I kind of got that that vibe hearing someone talk about it and so I'm trying to reverse engineer it so I'm making a list of the things that I find like really funny and kind of going from there but it's definitely like a, a muscle to it's like my my flabby little muscle that I'm trying to work out and get like nice and strong um okay sorry back to you so this is like some kind of okay here's the thing here's the thing you don't want to be afraid of any kind of big changes whatever big changes are happening and you guys are definitely in it you're in the, the 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 astrology of march is a lot of change so for some of you this is going to be this is this is your foreshadowing this is your foreshadowing um into these great big changes that you have coming up for you so there's a dominant feminine energy who is now don't pay attention to like the genders when we do tarot so this is like maybe this is maybe this is a woman but maybe this is a man too so feminine dominant energy that is very spicy very attractive very how do i put this this is like my scarlet o'hara energy where she just like you know someone that's just like i don't know just like i remember being on set and i was well, it's an actor on set and I was talking to the writer because that's who I was comfortable with and we were chatting and I was real like reserved I didn't get it I didn't get it for so long but I have like the personality of like a writer like in terms of like filmmaking and like all that stuff so I was talking to the writer and we were we were hitting it off getting along just having a, a, a regular conversation and then the one of the actresses, one of like the she way bigger actress than me she she like saw us and I could like feel her staring and then she like total queen of wands she just like came right up to us and she just totally like took over took over she took over and i'm not like a pushy if that happens i'm just gonna go away i will just i will walk away i will go away i will like go away so so i just like let them have i you know what i'm saying like i just like i'm just not you know and, and typically actresses kind of need to be that way to really get themselves into the front of people's in front of people's faces so that screen thing that i was picking up in your pre-meditation just something about re being really close to the screen and taking like a really good look that could be this person there could be someone here that's like competitive competitive this person's very competitive and they're trying very hard to just push themselves forward they're fighting they're fighting they're fighting they could be working very hard um, they could just be a hardworking person. That's what I like about one aspect I really like about the Queen of Wands is that I call her my middle class queen because she like started, she was born into a family in debt on the farm, working for the landowner. And they just like, she worked her way up, took over that farm, bought the farm next door, and then just did that her entire life until she became like queen of the kingdom. You know, so this is like someone that's got that kind of competitive spirit it's more social this is like a socially competitive person whereas this person if they are competitive they're more grounded they kind of compete with their own personal best you know me personally i relate more to this one because i i would <laughs> i'll watch a movie <clears throat> excuse me i'll watch a movie i'll watch a sequel and if i don't like this sequel if I get really mad, if I get like really upset, I'm like, it should have been this way. Like if I really like the original, I'll write, I'll write my alternate sequel. Cause I just don't, it just bothers me. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. That doesn't make any damn sense. So this person is a, probably going to probably gets far in life. This person probably gets very far in life because they have like, they they have a better sense about them. 
they're better at they're like like the actress you know she she did that's how you know i'm just not that i'm just like you know so i'm like jim carrey in that oh, i think it's like the mask where he's like nice guys finish last that's not this person. This is the Scarlet O'Hara where she's just going to be like, mm, 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 mm. so they've got a big change coming. So maybe, but they're like, like I said, they're like really competing. They're really fighting for something. So they have a big change coming up. Let's do one more. Ooh, goodness gracious. We have the Knight of Pentacles as well. Ooh, bottom of the deck, the High Priestess. The Six of Swords and the Emperor. The Emperor, the Six of Swords, and the High Priestess. This is good news. So whoever, okay, so I don't, we're going to open this up. We're going to open up to see what this is all about, that, like, the mental, like, stress and stuff. Um, but overall, there's a really positive um, vibe where you you or like the head honcho the vip person guys i know another one percenter she became a one that's my little joke she became like a one percenter and like she was not like a one percenter before and i and i just told her i'm like you know what enjoy the victory like really live it up life is so especially nowadays you know it's just so one thing after another oh it's all this ash it's just ash you know because of my you know, what you call but so when you do get a victory, eat your favorite snack, you know, watch your favorite TV show. I finished 11, 22, 63. Amazing. And, you know, let yourself luxuriate in the victory. Don't be so hard on yourself. Okay. Everything is already really hard. So overall, there's like a mental healing happening that you don't have to worry about it anymore. You don't have to think about it anymore moving on moving on to other things so you know this is almost like a psychic subconscious energetic mental healing as well there's something that's that's really i do you can practice telepathy with the people that you're very close to it just reminded me i got i got i get psychic calls like if someone tries to call me psychically i get it i do get it sometimes i don't pick up and sometimes i do i got one i think it was like tuesday I got one and i and i picked up so there could be some kind of it's you have that with people you have an affinity with so yes it's it's love but it's like a deep natural organic affinity you can practice telepathy okay healing healing okay let's take a look at this i'm gonna use my little potato chip deck i can't wait i'm gonna treat myself i'm gonna do my nails i can't pick a color though i don't know what i want okay sorry it's not about me it's about you let's take a look at this nine of swords what all is the anxiety about all this mental stress that you are stressing out oh no ego listen you guys there can only be love or ego there can never be you cannot have both existing in the same place at the same time it's going to be either one or the other so some that's either you worried about yourself you worried about somebody else worried about and you know this is a this is where discernment really comes into play because you, you know yes of course you want to be patient you want to give space in your relationships for both of you to grow so that means space to make mistakes space to learn from those mistakes space to grow and evolve from those mistakes without throwing each other under the bus without ultimatums without cruelty without hold grudges and holding on to things and bringing it up in a later conversation or in a fight later you know what i'm saying so there's that and then there's also can you trust someone that they're gonna do all of those right things and not hurt you again or hurt themselves again or continue to damage the bond in the future that's where the discernment comes into play. Just give me the screens. 
someone could be hyper focusing someone could be hyper focusing on something and it's just sort of a projection of their ego i don't know if they know that to be honest when you're in that nine of swords like state or mentality that's why i'm saying if i'm if i'm trying to you know solve something or figure something out with my stories i need to just, just take a break i need to just go and be in my different brainwave states because otherwise you're going to get into like high beta high beta beta brain waves is like when you are just awake and you're living your life high beta is when there's like an alarm there's a crisis you have to pay attention right now you want to control everything in your environment you're trying to predict what's going to happen in the future it's like a very stressful state is high beta but you relax you slow down your brain waves which is why you take a deep breath take a deep breath with me in through your nose out through your mouth helping to slow down those brain waves in meditation when you're nice and relaxed that's your alpha brain wave state that's the state that your brain waves are in all the time from the ages of seven years old to 12 years old let's do the rest since we're already here slower brain waves than that are the theta brain wave states when you slow down and get into the theta brain wave state that's when it's like How's it feel? It's like light sleep. This is the brainwave state that you're in when you are having like your eureka moments, when you're really inspired, when you are just like really, really inspired. That's where inspiration comes through. But that state, those brainwaves are in constant theta brainwave states from the ages of two years old to six years old. And then the very deepest, the slowest brainwaves are delta. That's when you're asleep. And we are in the delta brainwave states 24-7 from when we're born until we're two years old. So this is how the subconscious programming happens from when you're born until you're 12. Because you're, you're so impressionable. And, you know, when you... This is why getting spacey and just spacing out is so helpful for creativity or for problem solving. And that's why I'm bringing it home right now whoever this is you are like hyper focusing on something that's why you're not figuring it out because you're in high beta you're not gonna get the eureka moment in high beta you're just not going to and when you keep forcing yourself and putting all this pressure on yourself to do it you're hurting yourself you're hurting your subconscious mind and you're building and adding blockages let's take a look at the queen of pentacles Ace of Chalices, the Ace of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. She's got it. Yeah, baby, she's got it. So, yeah, Queen of Pentacles doesn't have to be an Earth sign, Sun, Moon, Rising. It could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun signs, Moon signs, Rising signs. They're just super, they're grounded. They are emotionally overwhelmed with happiness or creativity or spirituality. That's the Holy Grail. The Ace of Chalices is the Holy Grail your cup runneth over but see your cup runs over because you're filling your cup because you know how to fill your cup you know what to do and then the ten of pentacles something very financially successful lucrative um yeah they're they're set they're taken care of they're they're very they know what to do they know how to manage their finances they know how to live beneath their means they know how to you know first thing you do if you need to get rid of all your debt and then you, like I said, live beneath your your income level. You don't stretch it. And when some extra, and this is part of also for those of you that are entrepreneurs, you definitely know this. When you have a great month, you do not raise your cost of living to meet that. You hold back because you might have a month that you don't have anything coming in. And so you make it last. And then you, when you do have a nice little savings and you invest and you build up your assets and then pretty soon your assets are paying for living, and that, you know what I'm saying? So then you let your assets pay for your blue hair. You let your assets pay for getting your nails done. I don't get my nails done. I got like a $30 lamp off of Amazon because I like to just do it myself. I'm just really picky about how I file my nails, my nail shape. It's just my thing. So, you know, that's like in a very quick TLDR nutshell of the finances. But this is the person that does all of that. They're, they're doing all the things that I just said. And so they're They've built up a great little life for themselves. They've, they've, they're building up, you know, they take care of their family and they just like do the thing. 
So for anyone that needs, if you like that, if you like me talking like that, join Crypto Sasha. That's that's just like, I that's all I talk. <laughs> it's the financial literacy and all of those things. We talk about investments. We talk a lot about crypto. And um, that's over on patreon.com slash the Artigan. Nice tier and above. Yeah, so they, they're good. Let's take a look at this extremely competitive, possibly pushy. If you're an actor or an actress, then like that's, you're like, yeah, I'm amazing. You know, it's it's like par for the course. All right. Ooh, okay. We've got a couple cards here. You've got the moon, you've got the 10 of swords and you have the world. Okay, so um whoever whoever this is they they could have you could have been this person could have been following an incorrect line of strategy and unfortunately it could have been because something in your subconscious could have been hidden from you i mean this could be easily overcompensating this could be overconfident this could be um exaggeration this could be overpromising this could be like kind of grandiosity a little bit grandiose where um I don't know. It, it it's you know. I see a lot of hard work, though. I see a lot of hard work, good work ethic, but something about it. Th this is almost like mental exhaustion. The Ten of Swords is like when the fear or the worry is absolutely done, and there's nothing. It's that's the best part of it is that it's over. There's something that's absolutely over. So I see this person like all of that momentum gets like s stopped, like you know, and. It's kind of necessary because it wasn't healthy for them. First of all, there was a lot of like, I don't know if this is insecurity or um, like wrong motivation or whatnot, but it's going to be good for them because it's actually going to send them into a really great and like necessary cycle of um, wisdom. Like they're going to gain so much wisdom from this and they're going to mature so much and they're going to be, they have, let me this is like, great wonderful energy hard working maybe very attractive or very um show there's something again about like get, you know getting really really like close to the screen or like trying to get really in front of something you know so that's like oh those are great qualities but it's like this person needs to know how to use it better because otherwise see and that's the thing with the moon is that when you don't in the chariot as well when you don't know yourself and you don't know how to use your own energy you drive it into a ditch or you drive it off a cliff so this person needs this momentum to stop in order for them to learn how to really use all that wonderful energy the right way so that's a good thing though so it's i'm i'm reading it as a positive so you or this person living it might not feel it in the moment but over time you're going to be so grateful. You're like, oh my God, thank God I slowed my roll. Thank God that thing stopped me. Thank God, you know, whatever. Because I, I learned so much from it. And now all of that big, beautiful energy is going to be harnessed the right way. That really serves this person justice and who they are and all that wonderful energy that they have. Let's take a look at this. This chair is so squeaky. Let's take a look at this um, Knight of Pentacles. I think I spin too much in it. I just like, okay. We've got the nine of pentacles. Very nice. Nine of pentacles to clarify the knight of pentacles. So this is about a very um, sustained effort, long, sustained, hardworking effort. And this is like building it with integrity though. So this is, okay. So if this person over here, that's, they're like a, a little explosion. They're like a big pop. They're like, you know, all, all like that this other energy kind of around it it's more like a slow burn where it's like a slow steady consistent slow steady consistent or even if it's not slow even if it needs to you know pick up the pace it's about consistency consistency and and doing it reliably consistently well over a long period of time so like this person with the moon energy it's very cyclical it's kind of up and down so like I said, this could be like over promising or the energy is there and then the energy is not or being a little overconfident or a little bit grandiose. And then it doesn't, what gets turned in isn't, you know, what was promised, something like that. Whereas there's something else, there might be a third person over here that's, that they just do that. They just do 
consistently over a long period of time and they're so they're working on something independent or they're they're doing something else so i hope this makes sense for whoever this is for <laughs> okay let's take a look let's, let's get your divine feather divine feather so i can reverse engineer the anatomy of a joke see i'm more of like a dramatic writer who can find funny moments and then like make them you know funnier but like gags like writing a gag how could i know i don't know i'm not the expert you know what i'm saying so i'm trying to like figure it out i'm trying to like reverse engineer it and like i'm gonna do it i like a challenge like that i can figure it out i can do it i can figure it out it's gonna start with the funniest funny things that i find funny You can't teach humor. That's what I feel. You just can't. I, I don't feel like you can teach someone to be funny, you know? But I feel like you can probably figure out, like, a gag, right? But, like, humor in itself, like, I don't know. I think it just really comes down to, and I've seen this reflected, too, in, in people that are actually experts in this. This is just me rambling um, to a camera. Um, but... It's just my totally unsolicited opinion that it's really how you see life and your perspective on life. Just like people that they could find a positive in anything or a negative in anything. Like you just, you, it's just how you, how you, you, everyone looks at the same thing and the same news article and sees totally different things. Everyone looks at the same person. A human being in front of you sees totally different things, you know? Sorry. Meadowlark, smile. You will soon experience a wonderful journey of inner discovery. I feel like that's for this Queen of Wands person. I feel like, oh, I feel like they're gonna, they're gonna figure out a lot about themselves. These other people are really like, not boring, but they're just really consistent and they kind of have like a follow through energy about them. Like they kind of, they're consistent over a long period. I feel like this is speaking more towards the fireball over here. Who's like, you know, very fiery. You will soon experience a wonderful journey of inner discovery. I think everyone should smile, but like, yeah, especially that person just so that there's like a big change that might make them feel like ungrounded and unstable, but that's not where you get your stability. And you're going to learn that, whoever this is for. You're, like, that person's going to learn that that groundedness and that sense of stability is not from anything external. It's not your relationships. It's not your job. It's not the number in the bank account. It is none of that. What's the bottom of the deck? <gasps> Kingfisher. You have the Kingfisher. Prosperity is flowing. Have faith that you will receive it in the perfect form. Kingfisher. Look at that little birdie. Tweet, tweet. Prosperity is flowing. Have faith that you will receive it in the perfect form. So for this person, it's definitely financial. For this person, it's definitely inner wisdom. For this person, it's like a mental relaxation, like a mental healing. And for this person, it's money too, but not as much as that person. <laughs> Like this is someone it's different like levels of, of money all right love you guys so much take very good care where's my little spiel take very good care make sure to tell the algorithm that you want more of my content by liking subscribing and toggling the notification bell so you are assured to always get all of your messages if you would like to learn remote viewing to do this yourself telekinesis astral travel lucid dreaming or if you would simply like additional astrology and tarot readings just like this one for your sun moon and rising signs on a weekly and monthly basis, bookmark patreon.com slash the Artigan. And when you are ready to join the club, we will be happy to welcome you. Until next time, many beautiful blessings upon all of the beautiful heads, darlings. Oh.